Hello, it's Joe Clark again. Welcome back to my uh, CML video series. Um, today I'm going to show you how to upgrade to 2.6.1, which has uh, just come out. Um, it's The upgrade process changed a little bit. Uh, I want you to be aware of it. Um, and this is most likely going to be the, the way you upgrade going forward. Um, so this is my uh, CML environment. This is actually a cluster, but <clears throat> this will apply to both clusters and standalone, even personal. Um, so pay attention. A few things have, have changed here, uh, and we want to make sure you're not beating your head against the wall unnecessarily. So I've got three nodes in my cluster, the controller and two compute nodes. Um, controller doesn't run any nodes in my setup, but even if it, it did, it wouldn't matter. Um, the first thing I've already done um, is I've uploaded the uh, package file to upgrade to 2.6.1. Uh, um, I did this so you didn't have to wait and watch me uh, watch this thing upload. Um, you'll note that it is inzin.pkg. Um, Mac OS tends to want to recompress uh, things, so make sure that uh, that what you've got is the uh, is the .pkg uploaded. Um, so I've got that uploaded, and and we need to do that first. The next thing we need to do is make sure that we don't have any running nodes, no running labs at all. So I've got two labs here with at least one running node in them. I'm going to go ahead and shut them down. Just click the stop button. You don't have to wipe. Uh, in fact, I really don't want to wipe these labs, so, so you don't have to do that. You just have to make sure there's no, uh, there's no running simulations. The next thing you'll have to do uh, is enable maintenance mode. Um, so that you go over to um, uh, system administration, so tools, system administration, and you'll see there's this maintenance mode thing here. You click that, um, plan maintenance, sure, uh, login notice, and click save, and now you see the banner up there. So now we're in maintenance mode. So only administrative users or administrators can log into the system. So this keeps other users out while we're doing the upgrade. Uh, now what we want to do is go over to our compute hosts, and you see I have three here, uh, controller plus two computes. Um, standalone installations will just have the controller slash compute in there. That's fine. I'm going to check all three of these, so all of my nodes, and change the admis admission state to registered. This means they, they are, you see here down here, all this went offline. Um, this means they can't run any nodes. They are in a, in a state where they are just ready to be upgraded. They are not ready to do anything else right now. Um, so now what we've done is set everything up the way we need. The next thing we need to do is now hop over to cockpit and we'll actually do the upgrade from within cockpit. So I'll bounce out over there, log in as sysadmin, go up to the CML2 tab and you see software upgrade this part hasn't changed um, so you click the upgrade button there I'm sure we're doing that yes we're doing that and we scroll down here and we'll see all the uh, the logs as it goes through we should not see any errors I'm doing this for the first time on video um, so hopefully it works and then, uh, I don't have to re-edit anything um, so here we go keep going it uh, this is all real time uh, again we don't want to see any errors in here and we don't need to reload the cml ui um, uh, after we we finish the upgrade it will automatically uh, do that for us um, if you're upgrading um, and, and there was the need for a new kernel you might want to go ahead and do a reboot um, of CML. So, so there have been a few kernel updates. Um, I can do that later, uh, but just be aware that you, you might want to do that. Um, but keeps going. It will tell you when it's all said and done at the end. So you don't have to worry about whether or not uh, you're set. Uh, but again, you might want to, uh, in fact, I will uh, do a, a reboot when when all this is done, but uh, I just want you to see what the uh, uh, what the upgrade process is going to look like. So right now, what it's doing is doing any of the uh, database modifications that might have been schema type stuff. Um, okay, so 
so far fail controller upgrade ability check so don't worry it's still going it's still going everything okay checking everything I'm going to try it one more time and remember if you have a uh, multiple uh, multiple nodes uh, in this case like I said I have three um, it's going to do all of them so you don't have to uh, uh, you don't have to worry about uh, having to go in and do each one of them individually so in 2.6.1 um, it will do all of the nodes that might be in your cluster uh, this is going to take me a little bit longer because I've got the, the three nodes, uh, but if you just have a standalone, once once it does the one node, it'll be done. It'll delete the upgrade file for you automatically, uh, and then you'll be set there. So this, I think it's moved on to compute node two, maybe at this point. Maybe we're still on one. Yep, still on one. Does the database there, restarting the target. And now we're moved on to compute node two. So compute node two, some failures are expected on non-controllers. That's cool. Um, doing all the checking again. Uh, once this is done, this should be the last one and we'll see that everything is good. Um, but you will note that it, it's, uh, um, uh, that, that we're, it, you might have seen my video in 2.6 where after you did the upgrade, it, it had everything automatically in maintenance mode and it had all of the, uh, uh, in my case, the, the, the multiple compute nodes in my cluster, it had all of them still in registered state and it wasn't necessarily clear that, that you had to take that out. Um, here what you'll see is we added a little bit of a, uh, of a prompt that you, you have to, uh, you have to get out of, uh, you have to re, uh, associate the, uh, the the nodes that will be running your topologies and then you have to take it out of maintenance mode so you won't be able to um, you won't be able to take it out of maintenance mode unless you've got those those nodes set uh, and, and registered properly or associated properly so we're almost done stay with me here okay cool it's restarting compute node 2 finished clean up so that's when it deletes the file. Um, the, the upgrade, the, the .pkg, it says finished executing locally. So let's head back over here. Um, it logged me out automatically. The thing to note, 261 build 8. That sounds like it successfully upgraded. We do see we're still in maintenance mode. So we'll click here. Telemetry, we'll dismiss that for now. Uh, I want to go over here to maintenance mode. This is that warning I told you about. This is new to 2.61. No compute hosts are available to launch nodes. Oh, I want, I want to be able to launch nodes. So I'll go to compute hosts. That'll take me back over here. I'll select them all. I'll change the admission state back to ready. You'll see this starts to go green. Um, we want everything to look good. All said and done. Click on our system health. Uh, cluster status is still things are still thinking. We want to make sure all of that goes green. We don't have any system health issues. Uh, we're, this is okay here because in my case, my controller isn't allowed to run nodes. But if your controller is, everything should go green. But this is what we really care about. Everything's okay. Cool. Now I'll go back over to system maintenance mode. I'll uncheck that. I'll click save. We're no longer in maintenance mode. Is it all going to work? Let's hope. We don't know. This is all live. Uh, I'll come back over here to this topology that I've been working on. I'll click lab and start lab. And let's just make sure we start to see some consoles come up. It looks like the router is booting. I'm just going to hop on over to its console here. Uh oh. Let's reload this page. My browser has gotten a little upset with me. Let's just try the root again. There we go.
make sure. Oh, let's try. Looks like CML Netbox came up. So let's take a look at that console. Yep. So it looks like everything a little bit rough, but I wanted you to have the true experience. So this was unedited. This is the upgrade. Not terribly complex, but you have to remember just to do these things, do the right steps in the right order, uh, and you'll have a good time. You'll have a good experience. Everything should should come back up for you. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, again, this will likely be the upgrade process going forward, so we should have another one of these anytime soon, I hope. Um, and I hope you enjoy the new features about maintenance mode and the auto cluster node upgrades. Uh, tune in next time. Uh, we'll do something else fun and exciting with Cisco Modeling Labs. Thanks.